This is Brandon Lee with BetFerms.com here with your 2012 Carolina Panthers football predictions. The Carolina Panthers were the best 6-10 team in the NFL last season. They actually outgained opponents in 2011, but time and time again suffered close losses. In fact, 6 of their 10 defeats came by a touchdown or less. Coming off an excellent year from rookie quarterback Cam Newton, this is clearly a team on the rise. Ron Revere appears to be the man for the job. He helped make the Panthers competitive in his first year as head coach in 2011 following a disastrous 2010 campaign. Here is a preview of the personnel he'll be working with on offense and defense, as well as my prediction on where the Panthers finish in the NFC South. After averaging just 12.3 points and 258 total yards per game in 2010, the Panthers put up 25.4 points and 390 total yards per game in 2011. They ranked among the top seven in both statistical categories, and this unit should pick up right where it left off in 2012. As the number one overall pick in 2011, Newton clearly had some expectations to live up to. Somehow, he managed to exceed them by completing 60% of his passes for 4,051 yards with 21 touchdowns and 17 interceptions. Newton also finished third on the team in rushing with 706 yards and 14 scores on the ground. He's the real deal and already one of the top signal callers in the league. Carolina has managed to keep perhaps the best one-two punch in the league together at running back. D'Angelo Williams and Jonathan Stewart combined for 34.4% of the team's total offense last season. They can each catch the ball out of the backfield, especially Stewart, who had 47 receptions for 413 yards and a score. The Panthers added fullback Mike Tolbert from San Diego this offseason giving them another weapon. Steve Smith had a huge resurgence last year with Newton throwing him the ball. He finished with 79 receptions for 1,394 yards and seven touchdowns. Carolina desperately needs another big playmaker to emerge at the position. The options are wideout Brandon LaFell and David Geddes. Geddes missed all of last year with a torn ACL. Tight end Greg Olson proved to be a solid acquisition last offseason. Their offensive line is one of the most underrated units in the NFL. Leading the way are three-time Pro Bowl center Ryan Khalil and 10-year veteran left tackle Jordan Gross. Former first-round right tackle Jeff Ota has been banged up the last two years after playing very well in his first two seasons. Right guard Jeff Hangartner is a returning starter, and the Panthers have added left guard Mike Pollock from Indianapolis. Injuries really took their toll on Carolina's defense last season. The stop unit surrendered 26.8 points and 378 total yards per game, which forced Newton and company to try and win shootouts week in and week out. This will be one of the most improved defenses in the league in 2012. The defensive line features two solid pass rushers and defensive ends Greg Hardy and Charles Johnson. Defensive tackles Terrell McLean and Sion Fua are expected to start after mediocre rookie seasons. Defensive tackles Ron Edwards and Andre Neblet add depth. The most improved unit on the entire team will be the linebacker corps. That's because middle linebacker John Beeson returns from a torn Achilles suffered in week one last year. Also, the Panthers used their first round pick on rookie weak side linebacker Luke Keekley. He was a first team All-American at Boston College who led the nation in tackles and had an FBS record 34 straight games with double digit stops. Strong side linebacker James Anderson was the leader of the defense last year, and he returns to join Beeson and Keekley. After allowing a 98.3 quarterback rating to opposing quarterbacks, the secondary must improve. It should, considering the entire starting defensive backfield returns intact. They are corner Chris Gamble, corner Captain Munnerlin, strong safety Charles Godfrey, and free safety Sherrod Martin. This is a very young unit that should only get better in the next few years. Now, for my NFC South prediction, I have Carolina picked to win the division with a 9-7 overall record. The NFC South is clearly up for grabs this year. Atlanta will be tough to beat, but New Orleans is dealing with all of the suspension stemming from the bounty hunting investigation. Carolina outgained opponents last year by 12 yards per game, and the offense should be at least as explosive as it was in 2011. The biggest reason I believe the Panthers win this division is a defense that could be the most improved in the entire league. They get their leader, Beeson, back, and rookie Keekley is a tackling machine. 
A 9-7 record will be good enough to win this division, provided the Panthers get the tiebreaker.